Hello everyone, I'm Russell. And I'm Richard. And we are with the Lafayette Beer League. Tonight we are going to be talking about Metazo Brewing Company. So this company was started in 2016 by Dave Worthington. His love for all animals has driven him to give 5% of all his profits to animal and wildlife organizations, which is honestly pretty impressive because like... 5% is a good chunk. That's, that's a pretty good chunk. Some restaurants, their profit margins are like 5%, so that's... It's a good chunk. Good chunk. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, exactly. What really sets this brewery apart from a lot of other uh, pet-friendly breweries is they really encourage you to bring your pets, your rabbits, your dogs, your cats that are brave what about, enough. What about snakes and, and like? If it's a friendly animal, they're super into it. Okay, cool. Like snakes, snakes birds, and tarantulas are welcome. Yeah, maybe not birds, but any <laughs> pet, all pets. But don't bring your youngsters. You still have to be 21, so right. keep them at home. And. So I really like the name of this brewing company, Metazoa. It seems like a really cool name to say. Like I, I just really enjoy it. Enjoy it. And it's also a reference to the animal kingdom and kind of like just that scientific -y sort of reference to bring back towards his love of the animals and stuff like that. Right. And there, this beer that we're going to be trying tonight really does exemplar, exemplify, exemplify that. Uh, it is Kitty Slumber Party. It is a chocolate milk stout. It comes in at a 6.4 ABV and 28 IBUs. Right. So chocolate milk stouts are classified under the sweet stout category. And according to the BJCP, a sweet stout is a very dark, sweet, full-bodied, um, slightly roasted ale that can suggest of coffee and cream flavors as well, or instead of coffee and cream, a kind of slight and sweetened espresso flavor. And they do have lactose, so like the milk stouts and everything like that. The normally the fermentation process, the yeast eats all the sugars and turns it into right. um, alcohol. But because of lactose and the way it's like chemically, just, just chemistry stuff, it doesn't eat all of it and leaves a significant portion left over. So if you're lactose intolerant, probably stay away from this beer. Yeah, if you have a severe uh, lactose intolerance, yes, definitely. But if it's mild, uh, it should be okay Point for the nine. most part. Uh, yeah, one thing that's kind of interesting about this beer is the fact that they used to give it to pregnant and nursing women. They thought that the lactose in it kind of gave it a little added benefit to children, but it obviously doesn't. We now know that in modern times, so right. uh, <laughs> please do not drink beer while you're pregnant or nursing. I mean, I guess it's actually your choice to do that, but whatever. We're, we're not we we judge. recommend that you don't. Please don't. But we will not judge you. <laughs> All right, so... What do you think of this beer, Richard? I really kind of appreciate this beer. I love stouts. Stouts are the thing that kind of got me into beer. And I think that this beer is a very good example of a milk stout or a sweet yes. stout. It is very creamy. Um, I think the brewery calls it silky. Yeah. And it has that chocolatey flavor, but it's not overly chocolatey, overly um, roasted. And it is pretty well balanced. It doesn't have a whole lot of bitterness, but it's not too sweet either. Yeah, so you can tell on the appearance right here that it is uh, dark to black, which is what you expect from this. Um, you know, just smelling it even from here, you can kind of get like that roasted malts, maybe some coffee and chocolate from it. Uh, generally with stouts, they may have a higher IBU. This particular one does not at 28 is not very high. Right. But sometimes you'll see them up to like 50 or 60. They're very low hop aroma though. Right. And the same thing with taste. They're going to be much more malty and sweet. Right. Absolutely. And I, it has a very nice. Um, it's not very carbonated, so it's, it's not going to have a, that effervescent feeling in your mouth as much as if you can get from other beers and stuff like that. Absolutely. It's definitely still a full body uh, beer. There's going to almost be a heaviness to it, just because it's got a lot more of those like maltiness in them. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyways, so the I think the description on the back of the can that Metazella gives is probably one of the better ones. It goes, yeah, it's a silly name, but you'll get it when you take the first sip. Drink it from a wide mouth glass to get the full chocolate nose. Admire the deep blackness and rich tan head. Note the silky mouthfeel, and it's worth saying again, silky mouthfeel. Like, it's silky. Yeah. There's a decadent sweetness balanced by a light touch of roast. It's a thick, it's creamy, and it's packed with six pounds per barrel of velvety, dark endangered chocolate species. Species of chocolate. Hmm. Ever snuggled a pile of kitten? It's like that. Hmm. Yeah, so this can art, I would, I want to say first off, the cat on there is cute as fuck. Right. Um, 
If you've ever seen that video, have you seen that video where the cat's sitting there asleep playing? Probably not. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I like what they've done. They've kind of given you, like, this profile in the front of it that's very clear. It gives some good description. It says, chocolate milk stout style mm -hmm. batch in Metazoan Brewing Company. Oh, KSP. That's what that Putting means. Putting slumber party, huh? Yeah, and then it has uh, abstract of it, a strong chocolate flavor and aroma with a sweetness balanced by light roasted notes. Mm -hmm. Tells the brewmaster, John J. Hall, gives a little signature and then gives the alcohol content, size of the can, and then IBUs, which is like other information that you're going to want on the front of the can to right. make a decision about this beer. Right. I really appreciate how they have a little scaling system. I, think that's, I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of shows not all breweries do this. I don't even want all breweries to do this, right. but I appreciate it for like newcomers and people who don't know a whole lot about beer because it kind of gives you an idea of what you're going to expect. So they break it down by bitterness, malt, and color, and they kind of put a dot on a scale. So like bitterness, it's going to be really low, and then malt has a really high malty flavor to it, which it does. And then the color is almost all the way, all the way to the almost all the way. Like there's one more space for it to go. So right. it's super dark. So they really do a good job of like showcasing and explaining and helping out, helping guide younger or inexperienced beer drinkers and stuff like that. Right. You know, we we like to recognize the fact that a part of craft beer is there's there's a wall of barrier, right? Where there's so right. much information out there, there's so much to learn. How are you supposed to like understand all of it? So you're drinking from a fire hose. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> uh, this kind of helps people get an idea of what beers they're going to like. If you know right. that you like a beer that's going to be malty, or if you're just trying to understand what a malty beer tastes like, boom. Right. Exactly. This is an example of that. Um, yeah, let's get right on into the ratings, right? Yeah. So we have Rate Beer, which gives it a 3.3 out of 5 mm -hmm. with 5 ratings. Um, you know, I don't agree with that. Yeah, I, it's not the best. Right, so Beer Advocate is 4.23 out of 5 with 4 ratings. I can definitely agree with that a lot more. Mm -hmm. I do think that might be a little high, but yeah. Uh, untapped with 3.99 out of 5 with 1,000. 653 ratings. Untapped, killing the game. Hashtag. Yeah, right. <laughs> Untapped is definitely going to be the one place you're going to get the most ratings because it's the easiest app to use to um, rate and track your beer. Yeah, I love your beer. I personally give it about a 4.3 out of 5. I love stouts. Like I said earlier, they were my gateway into um, craft beer and experiencing all the different flavors and stuff like that. They kind of help build my palate. So they always have a special place in my heart. So I kind of... I feel like this hit the nose really well as far right. as the stout style, and so and because of my personal love, going with that 4.3, I think that's a pretty solid rating for myself. Right. Um, I actually think that they did a really great job on this beer. Um, describing it on the back of the can, they've hit every point in the beer itself. You know. Right. You, you get that silky smooth mouthfeel, those chocolate aromas, and it's all there that's supposed to be there. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a 4.1. Um, I don't think that it's my favorite style that I've ever had, but I do think that they've executed right. it very well. Right. So that's why I, um, I want to give them that higher score. But yeah, I've definitely had stouts that I've enjoyed more than this one, but I think they've executed it. Perfectly. Perfectly. Yep, like what they, they've hit their goal. Yep, I agree. Uh, so that gives us an average of 3.98, which is, like we've said, very similar to Untapped. Literally 0.01 off of Untapped. Right. So I, I really do feel like that is probably the more accurate like number out of the two, out of all of them, you know? Right. I agree. I agree. Untapped gives you the best uh, overall score for ideas. Right, and that's, you know, not to advocate for them. We just really do appreciate their service and how it is accessible to use their Great. product. So that's why you're always seeing more ratings on those beers, and that really helps us beer drinkers know what the general idea of it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyways, thank you everyone for watching. Please like, subscribe, and do all the things to show your love and support for the Lafayette Beer League. Like always, for more information about any of the things mentioned in the video, for about the style or where we got our information from, there's links below as well as other beer-related links. And remember, keep scoring beer. Yeah, have a wonderful day.
Malty. Yeah. 